Good afternoon and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. The Cubs today are going to wrap up this nine-game homestand with three critical games against the division-leading Pittsburgh Pirates. The Cubs come in at 13-15, and 15, four games behind the Pirates. So let's see what today's lineups are going to be. We see that for manager David Ross, Mike Tauschman is going to bat lead off for the Cubs. He is going to be followed by David Fletcher, Anthony Rizzo, Javier Baez, Chris Bryant, Jason Hayward playing out and right today, Wilson Contreras the catcher, Al Mora the center fielder, and Jonathan Lasiaga. Will be, will be making his first start of the season for the Cubs. He was traded for just a couple days ago. He is in five starts, two and one, with a 3.55 ERA and a 1.34 WHIP. The Pirates will be sending out a very similar lineup to what we saw a week ago, or a couple weeks ago actually, when the Cubs got swept in Pittsburgh, and they will be facing. Right-hander Chris Stratton, who didn't look particularly good, but did notch a win against the Cubs earlier this season. The wind blowing in from right, which I feel like has been the case for this entire series so far. We have clear skies today and 52 degrees. Let's play some baseball. The Pirates are going to send leadoff hitter Jared Dyson up to the plate. We are here in an evening game today. 6.40 time for the first pitch. A little darker out today. The lights are taking full effect on the field of play. And the Cubs starter... Lasiaga is looking in and he is going to make the first pitch of the game. And that is going to be a base hit to left field for Jared Dyson. The throw is late coming into the infield. Dyson makes it all the way around to third with a lead off triple. Tauschman struggled with that a little bit. You could tell he hadn't dealt with the Ivy before. And that will bring up the shortstop Newman with nobody out and the runner on third. 0-1 count, here's the pitch. That is popped up to right center field. However, Almora should be able to track that one down. He does, that is the first out of the game. The runner Dyson will tag up and score easily from third. Pirates now have a 1-0 lead with one out and Bell now the new batter. First pitch to Bell. Popped up to left field. Tauschman goes the other way for this one. He'll have plenty of room, though. And he will put it away for the second out of the inning. Gregory Polanco, now the batter with two outs and nobody on. One strike count. Here comes the pitch. Polanco grounds to second. Fletcher has it. Throws to first. And the Pirates are retired in the top of the first inning, but not before they score the first run of the game to steal the lead one to nothing. Tauschman will lead off against Stratton for the Cubs in the bottom of the first inning. 2-2 Two -two count. Tauschman looking for the pitch. He hits it on the ground to second. Routine play over to first. One down. And Fletcher is the batter with one out and a 1-1 one -one count. Fletcher hits it on the ground to first. This time, no need for a relay. Bell grabs it himself, steps on the bag, and there are two down. Rizzo now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Rizzo hits it to first. Bell scoops it up again, wins the foot race to first. The Cubs are retired in order in the bottom of the first. Going out of the top of the second inning with a 1-0 Pirate lead. Former Cub Victor Caratini now the batter with a 2-2 count, leading off the top of the second inning. And he strikes out swinging. That is out number one. That is strikeout number one. 
for the Cubs starter. We now go to Brian Reynolds with a 2-2 count. Lasiaga looks in. Here's the pitch. That's a soft liner right at Baez. He makes the catch. And there are now two down. Kevin Kramer will bat with two outs. Nobody on. 2-2 two -two count. Here's the pitch. That is skied out to right field. But Hayward is right there. Takes a couple steps to his left and puts it away for out number three. Pirates are retired in order in the top of the second inning. We go down to the bottom of the second with a 1-0 Pirate lead. 2-0 count to Baez. Baez hits it on the ground to third. That should be a routine play. The throw does cause Bell to stretch a little bit at first, but ultimately, Baez is retired for the first out. Bryant now the batter with one out and a one and two count. Bryant hits it on the ground to short. Relay over to first, and the Cubs are down to their final out of the bottom of the second inning. Jason Hayward will now bat with two outs and nobody on. One strike count. Hayward. Here's the pitch. Hayward pops it up to left field. That should be an easy play. And it is. Reynolds puts it away for out number three. The Cubs are retired in order in the bottom of the second inning. We go to the top of the third. one nothing Pirates. Cabrian Hayes is going to be the next batter for the Pirates. He will lead off the top of the third inning. 1-1 one, one count. He hits it pretty hard out to left field. That could be, it might be, it is gone. That is a home run for Cabrian Hayes. 418 feet out to the left field bleachers and the Pirates now own a two to nothing lead. Let's see how La Ciaga recovers from allowing the solo shot. Stratton now the batter for the Pirates. Two strike count. And it looks like he retired, retired Stratton on the fastball there with an 0-2 count. Laciaga recovered just fine. And now we go to the top of the pirate order. One out, nobody on. 1-1 one, one count to Dyson. Dyson lays down the bunt. Pitcher fields cleanly, throws to first, but the throw is late. Dyson is very speedy. And he makes it down to leg out the infield single. Newman will now bat with one out and one man on. Newman grounds to Fletcher at second, the throw to first, and that is also not in time. The Pirates have just gotten back-to-back -back infield singles, kind of a rare occurrence all on its own. And now Bell is going to be the batter with one out and two runners on base. Full count, payoff pitch to Bell. Ball four outside. I know he feels like he got squeezed on that one, but we're going now to Gregory Polanco. Excuse me, he will be the next Pirate batter. He is coming up with one out, and the bases are full of bucks. Two ball count, ground ball. Over to first, to short, back to first. Rizzo tried to start the 3-6-3 double play, but the relay back to first was late. Polanco beats the throw. The Pirates score the third run of the game. Caratini will now bat with runners on the corners and two out. One and two count to Caratini. Strike three, swing. Got him to swing at a pitch that was down and in. We go down to the Cubs half of the third with a 3-0 Pirate lead. Wilson Contreras will lead off for the Cubs. 2-2 Two -two count to Contreras. Here's the pitch. Contreras slaps it into left field. That's going to go all the way down into the corner. Contreras rounds first. He's got extra bases. Sliding into second safely with a double. And this is, might just be the spark the Cubs need to get something going. Almora will now bat with Contreras on second and nobody out. 0-2 count to Almora. Here's the pitch. Almora hits it on the ground. The shortstop has it. Throws to first after he looks Contreras back to second. Newman fielded that really in short left field, but he's able to throw out Almora at first. 
And the Cub pitcher, Jonathan Laciaga, is going to bat now with runner on scoring position and one out. Laciaga flies out to left field. I'm a little surprised they didn't have him sacrifice in there, but he flies out for the second out of the inning. And Tauschman now the batter with Contreras still standing on second. 2-2 two -two count. Tauschman hits another fly ball out, this time to left center. Center fielder Dyson tracks it down, and the Cubs are not able to capitalize on the Contreras leadoff double. Runner is stranded. Cubs do get their first hit of the game. We go now to the top of the fourth with a 3-0 Pirate lead. Laciaga will bat, will pitch to the batter, Reynolds, to lead off the top of the fourth inning. Full count. Here's the pitch. Popped up to left. It looks like Baez is calling for that one. He fields in shallow left field, or deep shortstop, I suppose, depending on how you want to describe it. And Kramer will now bat with one out and nobody on. Here's the first pitch to Kramer. Ground ball to short. Baez has it. Throws to first for the out this time. He's not able to make it unassisted. And there are now two outs. And Hayes is the batter with nobody on base. Top of the fourth end. One strike count. Here comes the pitch. And he is hit. Well... Hayes will head down to first after having been hit in the shoulder with the pitch, and Stratton will bat with two outs and a runner on first. Two strike count to Stratton. Ground ball to third. Bryant has it, throws to Rizzo, and the side is retired. We go to the bottom of the fourth inning with a 3-0 Pirate lead. The Cubs are going to send the 2-3-4 batters up in the bottom of the fourth. Hopefully get something going here. Full count to Fletcher. Fletcher swings and misses at a changeup for a strike three. Had to protect with the full count, but he was not able to connect with that changeup. Rizzo will now be the batter with one out and nobody on. One and two count to Rizzo. Here's the pitch. Stratton gets Rizzo to ground right back to the mound. The throw to first and Rizzo's retired and That'll bring up Baez with two outs and nobody on. One ball count to Baez. Baez pops it up to right. That should be routine. Baez flies out. Polanco makes the catch for out number three. We go now to the top of the fifth inning with a 3-0 Pirate lead. Jared Dyson will lead off for the Pirates in the top of the fifth. One ball, two strike count. Dyson grounds over to Rizzo at first. That is going to be three unassisted for the first out in the top of the fifth. Pirate shortstop Kevin Newman now the bat. One ball count. Here comes the pitch. Newman grounds weakly back to the pitcher. Laciaga is able to throw him out at first for out number two. Bell now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Full count to Bell. Here comes the pitch. Hit high in the air to center field. Looks like that's going to be to the warning track. And Almora does catch it just shy of the Ivy for out number three. We go now to the Cubs half of the fifth inning with a 3-0 Pirate lead. Bryant will lead off for the Cubs. Full count to Bryant. And Bryant slaps it into right center field. He took that outside pitch, hit it the other way, and he is going to have a double. He races to second, slides in safely. In fairness, that was probably ball four, but Bryant got two bases out of it instead of one. Hayward now the bat. Hayward is gonna come up with the runner in scoring position, nobody out, one strike count. And Hayward is hit. He's hit in the knee. It looked like he clutched his knee a little bit when that happened. But he is down on first base. He's going to stay in the game. Contreras now the batter with first and second. Nobody out. This has probably been the Cubs' best opportunity so far in this game. Contreras looking for the pitch. That is hit high to left field. That is not going to get out of the park. That is going to be a routine fly to left field. Reynolds 
camps under it and puts it away for out number one. Almora, who got a clutch hit in yesterday's game, comes up now with first and second and one out and a chance to cut into the Pirates' lead. One ball count, Almora. The pitch, the pitch gets away. That's a wild pitch. The runners advance to second and third. Well, now Almora can drive in a run on a sack fly. And he has a two ball count at three to one, three and one. And Almora hits it up the middle. Diving Dyson is able to make the play. Bryant will tag up to score. That is out number two for the Cubs. An excellent defensive play by Dyson, but even though he fielded that in short center field, the dive prevented him from throwing out Brian at home. Santana will now bat. The Cubs have cut into the Pirate lead and is now three to one. Santana will bat with two outs and a runner on second after the Almora sacrifice fly. Santana is pinch hitting for the pitcher, Laciaga. Three and one count. He watches ball four go by low. That will put runners on first and second now for Tauschman, still with two outs. Let's see if Tauschman can cut into this lead a little further. Two and one count. Tauschman hits it up the middle. Hayward is gonna come around third. He makes a big wide turn and he is sliding in safely to home. Tauschman comes through with an RBI single. And the Pirates lead is now three to two. Cubs have scored two runs here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Santana, the pinch hitter, is standing on second. Tauschman is on first. Fletcher now the batter with first and second and two men out. One ball count. Fletcher hits it up the middle. That is going to be a infield, oh no, they did throw him out at first. It looked like he was going to make the infield single out of it, but apparently only the Pirates know how to execute that play. So Fletcher is retired for the third out of the inning. The Cubs do score two. The Pirates now lead three to two. The Cubs, after having pinch hit, for Laciago in the last half of the inning. Now bring in the righty reliever, Cam Bedrosi. Laciago, in his first start for the Cubs, through five innings, allowed four hits, three runs, all earned, with a walk, three strikeouts, and a solo home run. Well, let's see if Bedrosian can hold the Pirates right here. He is going to face the lefty Polanco and then two switch hitters in the top of the sixth inning. One and two count. Bedrosian looks in. Here comes the pitch. Strike three swing. Bedrosian got him with a slider. And Caratini will now come up to bat with one out and nobody on. First pitch to Caratini. Popped up to center field. Almora coming in, Fletcher going out, but Almora is going to make the catch for out number two. Reynolds now the bat. Two outs, nobody on. Full count, Bedrosian with the payoff pitch. Strike three swinging. Bedrosian throws a high fastball and strikes out Reynolds to end the inning. We go now to the Cubs half of the sixth inning, and we have a 3-2 Pirate lead. The Pirates starter, Stratton, is going to come up for inning of work number six. He has thrown 75 pitches so far in this game. He did allow the Cubs to score two in the last half of the fifth inning. 1-0 count. Here's the pitch. Ground ball over to first. That is going to be an infield single. Rizzo hustles down to first and beats the throw with Stratton trying to cover first base. Stratton might have been just a hair late trying to cover. Baez will now bat with nobody out and Rizzo on first. One and two count to Baez. And that is going to be hard hit. That is going to be, oh, that is a diving catch. Polanco actually dove toward the Ivy to make that catch. 
with no regard for his body whatsoever. He lays out and he robs Baez of an extra base hit. Well, Bryant will now be the batter. He is standing in with one out. Runner Rizzo still on first and a full count. Here's the pitch. And he pops it up to center field. That is not going to get the job done. The center fielder, Dyson, catches it on the warning track. Rizzo has to stay on first. And Hayward now the batter with two outs and one man on. One strike count to Hayward. Here's the pitch. Hayward knocks it into right field. That is actually going to drop in front of the, of the right fielder. Rizzo has to stop at second. Hayward with the single. Contreras now batting with two outs and two men on. Full count to Contreras. Stratton with the pitch. Strike three. Strike three called. Contreras is not happy. He's asking why that, why they couldn't get that pitch on the other side. But Contreras heads back to the dugout. The Cubs still trail three to two. They are not able to score as they strand two in the bottom of the sixth. Go to the top of the seventh now. Bedrosian is going to come out for his second inning of work. He will face the 7-8-9 batters in the Pirate lineup. One strike count, Bedrosian comes to the plate. That will be a soft liner at Fletcher. Fletcher makes the grab for out number one. And Kevin Hayes will, oh, I'm sorry, Cabrian Hayes is now the batter. With one out and an 0-2 count. Cam Bedrosian with the pitch. Strike three swinging on the slide. Bedrosian will now pitch to the other pitcher, Stratton, in the top of the seventh inning. Two outs, nobody on. Here comes the pitch. Popped up on the right side, Rizzo looks like he is in position. He calls off Fletcher and he makes the squeeze for out number three. I guess the Pirates didn't really want to waste a pinch hitter in that situation. Because right here is right-hander Kyle Crick. Kyle Crick is going to pitch the bottom of the seventh inning for the Pirates. He is going to face the 8-9-1 batters in the Cub line. And we want to give a big shout-out to former Cub Ernie Banks for singing the seventh inning stretch today. Almora now will lead off the Cubs half of the seventh. The Cubs need to score a run to tie up this game. 0-2 pitch. Crick looks in. Here it comes. And Almora grounds too short. That will be a 6-3 ground out for the first out in the seventh inning. Jason Kipnis the lefty will come up to bat against the righty Crick. He is pinch hitting in the pitcher's spot, which will mean this is the end of the day for Bedrosian. He was actually very effective. Two innings, no hits, no walks, no runs, three strikeouts. Very much keeping the Cubs in this game today. Kipnis now the batter with one out and nobody on. One and two count. Here it comes. Kipnis has a base hit up the middle. That gets under the glove of the second baseman, Kramer. And Tauschman will now bat. With the tying run on first base and one out. And they bottom the seventh inning. One and two count to Tauschman. Swing and a miss, strike three. Crick punches out Tauschman for the second out of the inning. Fletcher will now bat. Runner still standing on first, but now two outs. One and two count to Fletcher. Fletcher has another base hit. That's going to drop in front of the center fielder, Dyson. The throw goes to third, and Kipnis is not able to advance past second. Rizzo will now bat with the tying run in scoring position, and the Pirates bring in a new reliever, lefty Tyler Webb. Tyler Webb has been very effective this year with Eight and a third innings thrown. He has allowed six hits, one earned run, three walks to ten strikeouts, and a 1.08 ERA. The lefty Webb will face the lefty Rizzo in a critical situation. 
here in the bottom of the seventh inning. Cubs trying to tie up this game or potentially even take the lead. One strike count. Webb looks in. Here's the pitch. And he hits Rizzo in the shoulder. Rizzo, I swear, Rizzo needs to get an endorsement with Target because he keeps getting hit over and over and over. He should be the spokesman for an ad campaign for Target merchandise. Anyway, Baez now comes up. The bases are loaded. Webb is pitching to Baez with two outs. Pirates leading 3-2 in the bottom of the seventh inning. One ball count. Baez pops it up to left field. I do not think that's going to get it done. The left fielder Reynolds has plenty of time to get under it. And the Cubs are retired. They leave the bases loaded in the bottom of the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth. 3-2 Pirates. Brandon Morrow, the new Cub pitcher, after the pinch hitter Kipnis was used in the seventh inning, Morrow will pitch to the top of the Pirate lineup, starting out with center fielder Jared Dyson. 1-1 one, one count. Morrow looks in. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball to short. It gets by Baez into left field, and Dyson has a leadoff single. Newman now the batter. Nobody out, runner on first. One and one count. Newman grounds to first. Rizzo does not try to turn the double play this time. He just goes to first, touches the bag. One out now. Runner advances to second on the fielder's choice, and Bell is the batter. Two ball count to Bell. Ground ball to second. Fletcher over to first. Throw almost got away from Rizzo, but he was able to scoop it out of the dirt. And the Pirates now have two down in the top of the eighth inning. The runner is, however, 90 feet away, standing on third base. Polanco will be the batter. Full count to Polanco. Ground ball to first. Rizzo has it, runs to the bag. And the Pirates are retired. They strand a runner on third. Go to the bottom of the eighth now. Still clinging to a 3-2 Pirate lead. Bryant will be the batter. The lefty Webb will continue to pitch for the Pirates in the bottom of the eighth. One and two count to Bryant. Here's the pitch. Bryant hits it hard to left field. That is going to tie up the ball game. Bryant has home run number five. 402 feet out to left field, and we have a brand new ball game, folks. It is tied at three in the bottom of the eighth. Nice piece of hitting there for Bryant, not just protecting with two strikes, but driving it out to the seats in left field. Hayward will now be the batter. One and two count to Hayward. Webb with the pitch. Popped up on the left side. The catcher, Caratini, goes over and puts it away in foul ground. Contreras now will bat with one out and nobody on. Full count to Contreras. There's a ground ball to short. Contreras is thrown out at first, 6-3. And now Almora will bat with two outs and nobody on. Webb, first pitch to Almora. Hard hit into left field. That's going to get to the wall. That's to the gap in left center field. Almora circles first, slides into second. He has a two out double. He is standing on the second base, representing the lead run for the Cubs. And the lefty. Mike Ford will make his first appearance for the Cubs today. He is going to pinch hit in a potential game-changing situation. The lead run is in scoring position, standing on second base in the form of Albert Almora Jr. Ford the batter. Webb, who's thrown 21 pitches, continuing to face Ford in this situation. First pitch, Webb to Ford, and they're going to intentionally walk him we're going to send him down to first and pitch instead to the lefty Tauschman in this situation. Does set up the force. The Cubs now have first and second and two out. A full count. Here's the pitch. And that is going to be a base hit to left field. 
I believe the runner is going to come all the way around to score. The Cubs are now the owners of a 4-3 lead. The Cubs have completed the rally. They were down 3-0 in the top of the third inning. They have come all the way back to lead this game 4-3. The Pirates finally discover they have another pitcher in the bullpen. They bring out Ricardo Rodriguez to face the righty Fletcher with two outs now, runners on the corners in the bottom of the eighth inning. Cubs attempting to add to this 4-3 lead. One and one count, Rodriguez looks in. Here's the pitch to Fletcher. Fletcher hits it on the ground to second. That should retire the side. 4-3, Fletcher grounds out, but not before the Cubs score two more runs and assume the lead 4-3. That will bring in the Cubs closer, Craig Kimbrell. He is going to pitch to five, six, seven batters in the Pirate lineup here in the top of the ninth inning. He's going to try to tie down save number eight on the season. Caratini will lead off. 2-2 two -two count. Kimbrell looks in. He gets the sign. Here's the pitch. Strike three swing. Kimbrell threw that 97 mile an hour fastball right by him. Reynolds will now be the batter. With one out and nobody on. One and two count. Reynolds pops it up weakly on the infield. Baez calls off Bryant and makes the catch for out number two. Kramer now the batter for the Pirates. Two outs. Nobody on base. Two two count. Here's the pitch. That's going to be a liner right at Baez, but it gets by him into center field. That looked like he might have had a shot at it, but Baez could not get a glove. And now the Pirates have a two-out single. Kramer's standing on the first, and Cabrian Hayes, who already has a home run in this game, is going to be the batter. Two outs, one man on. Full count to Hayes. That is a hard-hit ball. Almora lets it get over his head in center field. The run is going to come all the way around from first base to score. We have a tie game here in the top of the ninth inning. Hayes slides in safely to second with a double. And now Stallings will be the pinch hitter for the Pirates. He is going to bat with the potential go-ahead run on second base and two outs. One and two count to Stallings. Kimbrell strikes him out swinging to end the ninth inning. Well, the Pirates score the, game, score the tying run in the top of the ninth off of the club's, Cubs closer, Kimbrell. We go now to the bottom of the ninth inning with a 4-4 tie. The Pirates are going to bring in Michael Feliz, I believe, he is their closer. He has, in fact, recorded three saves so far this season. Rizzo will bat. He'll be the first batter up against Feliz in the bottom of the ninth inning. One and two count to Rizzo. Feliz with the pitch. Strike three swinging. Rizzo is out number one in the bottom of the ninth. Baez will now be the batter, with one out and nobody on. One strike count to Baez. Here comes the pitch. Baez grounds weakly out in front of the plate. Caratini has it, throws to first. Baez retired for out number two. And that will bring up Chris Bryant. He already has a home run in this game. He is two for four with an RBI and a run scored. And he will face Feliz with two outs and nobody on. With a two and one count. And Bryant hits home run number two. He has just hit that ball all the way out of the ballpark into the left end of the street behind the left field bleachers. The team comes out to mob him as he, the Cubs walk this one off five to four in the bottom of the ninth. Bryant is very excited. The Cubs improved their record to 14 and 15 with the walk-off home run for Bryant.
Pittsburgh drops to 17 and 12. There are now only three games separating the Cubs and Pirates. The player of the game, no big surprise there, Chris Bryant. Bryant went three for five with three runs scored, two RBIs, two home runs in the game, including the walk-off in the bottom of the ninth. Craig Kimbrell credited with both the blown save and the win in this game. One inning, two hits, one run scored, one run allowed, and two strikeouts. The Pirates' Michael Feliz is credited with the loss. He threw two-thirds of an inning, allowed one hit, the Bryant home run, and struck out one. Well, the Cubs cut into the Pirates' lead today. Come back and see Game 2 tomorrow and see if the Cubs can continue to improve on this nine-game homestand.